If you need to create process documents or training videos within your business, then this video is for you. I'm going to teach you how to do all of that using a simple and affordable software called Snagit. I'm Amanda Horvath and I'm all about helping business owners and entrepreneurs leverage the power of video without breaking the bank or taking up tons of their time. So if you're looking to use video in your strategy this year, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Now, before we dive into the specific features that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, I want to kick this off with a little story. So about three months ago, I created a video on Snagit 2020, where I showed you guys how I use Snagit to record my computer screen. Now I've been doing that for the past four years. It is the simplest screen capture tool that I've personally found and it's perfect for video because you can easily click save as on your video files instead of needing to export them, which was a problem that I found in other screen recording software. So if you hear nothing else from this video and you just hear, oh, it's a screen capture tool, then you can, you're going to get the most out of your money because this is a very affordable software as is. However, what ended up happening was I created that video, released it to the universe. Then TechSmith, the parent company of Snagit, ended up reaching out to me after seeing that first video that I created and asked if I would like to review Snagit 2021, which just came out. And I logged on, I downloaded it, I checked it out, and I was scratching my head like, how how are people using this? I'm kind of confused. I don't think I'm using the software properly. So I end up popping on a demo with their team to dive into the different features of Snagit and how people are using it. And it turns out I've only been using about 5% of the capabilities that this software has to offer. And the better part is that it ended up solving a lot of problems that I have within my business as is in terms of creating process documents that I can then use to hire someone or even create PDFs for courses, which we're going to talk about more in a second here. So I really got excited about the software even more so than I already was and wanted to pop on here and show you guys three different use cases of how I'm personally using Snagit 2021 and how you might consider doing the same. If at any point throughout this video, this sounds like a software that you could benefit from, then be sure to use the link in the description description below for 10% off. And with that, let's dive into the three use cases. Use case one, screen record. This is obviously the feature that I use all the time and I absolutely love it. It's what drew me to Snagit in the first place and I've been using it for the past four years. And there's really three different ways that you can use this screen recording feature within your business. And I'm sure there's a lot more, but these are what I use on a daily basis. So the first is, let's say you need to record a PowerPoint presentation, or if you're into Google Slides like me, it could be a Google Slide presentation as well. You plug a microphone into your computer. You can use this one here. This is the Blue Yeti microphone and it is oh so good in terms of audio and makes it really easy to have high quality audio going straight to your computer. So you open up your slides and you just hit record and you just talk and flip through as if you were presenting that live. This can come in handy if you need to record a webinar presentation, maybe a presentation for an online summit or even an online course. The second way that I like to use this feature is in creating training videos. So let's say I'm working with an outsource editor and I need to describe something, but it can be kind of complicated to put that in an email. What I'll do is I'll quickly record my screen, walk through me doing something to tell them how I'd like them to do it or give them any instructions. And then I just stop recording, upload that to a Google Drive with one click using Snagit 2021 and just send them that video. That can save so much time compared to having to describe something in text. And the third and certainly not least way that I like to use this feature is 
is to use it as B-roll for my videos. So as I was talking about those other two features, you were seeing on the screen, screen recordings of me doing those very things. So you now see how you can use it as B-roll within your videos. This is the number one trick that I have for creating sustainable video content and making it slightly more interesting whether than just having me talking on screen. So if I can actually demonstrate what's happening while seeing it, instead of just seeing me talking, it's a whole lot more interesting. So let's quickly hop on over to the computer and show you how to record your screen. So it's super simple. All you have to do is open up Snagit and there will be this S at the top of your menu bar if you are on a Mac and you just click that S and you'll have all of your different record options here. You can choose to use your webcam or not. You can have system audio, which is actually the audio coming out of your computer. So if I wanted to record me editing a video and I wanted to be able to hear what I was editing, I would turn that on. Or if you're playing a video and you need to be able to hear that audio, then you would turn that on as well. Then you can record your microphone and just by clicking this, you can choose what microphone is being recorded. So we would want the Yeti microphone to be recorded because that is the top quality microphone. And then you just go ahead and click capture, click the full screen there, and then you can just, this gives you the last minute check of you're not recording system audio and you are recording the microphone. And then you can just click record. It's going to do a little countdown for you and then you are recording your screen. And when you are ready to stop recording, you just go up here, you click stop recording, and that pops up right here. And my favorite part about this whole thing and why I like Snagit above any other screen recording tool that I've come across is all you have to do to save this video is just to go file, save as, and then save that video file wherever you want. I've previously used ScreenFlow and it makes you export the video every time that you record one, which is really annoying and takes a lot longer than you might think if you're recording like a 30 minute video. So this way I could save this video file, immediately import it into my Premiere Pro project file and just start editing it right there without any export times. So once again, if you only use Snagit for this feature, it's worth it. Use case two, process documents. This is the feature that Snagit was founded upon or created for, and it is creating process documents for your business, whether these are PDFs within an online course that you're creating or training documents for onboarding team members or anything like that, just systematizing the business as a whole, this tool makes it so very easy. I have been putting hiring on the back burner because I'm consistently trying to put off making these documents, but this tool makes it really easy to grab screenshots as you go and create them within the software without needing to spend extra time doing it. So let's hop on the computer and let me show you how that's done. Just like you could record videos, you can go and do screen recordings. So we're gonna keep everything the same here. And what we'll do is just go ahead, well, let's get something on the screen to capture. So let's pull up Premiere Pro here. And then we just click capture. We could either select a region and it has really specific points to like pixel perfect selection, or you can go ahead and click full screen. And then that will pull up the screen recording here. And there's a ton of really, really cool things that you can do with this. You can add arrows, text, callouts, shapes, stamps, which are like check marks that you can simply drag and drop like that, or X's, like do this, don't do this. And there's a ton of other ones as well, different options. And the other cool ones are like, you can have a magnify. So say we wanted to zoom in on this section 
and I wanted to point out what one of these was, then I could totally do that. And with the all of the text, the call outs, the shapes, any of that, if you want to have, or this is something that I do recommend you do, period, is you can load all of your brand colors in here so that you only have to update them once. And then every time you use Snagit, you can have your brand colors. So you can just add a new theme. You can name it whatever you want. Add your color codes. Uh, you can go between RGB or hex code there. Add your font too. And then every time anything that you add will go in here. Now something that is brand new to Snagit 2021 that is really, really cool is templates. So I started creating one over here so that I could show you guys what this looks like. And essentially what it is, is you can just have different sections that are already pre-created to drag and drop things into. So let's say that this was a step. Then I could just drag that and drop it right there and adjust it however I wanted it to be adjusted so that we could see it however we wanted. That's obviously not a great choice for a screenshot. And there's lots of different options that we can choose from. So we could have big screenshots, we could have text next to it, or anything like that, which is really, really cool. And you can update these to be your own fonts and colors and all of that. And what you can do as well is you can always adjust them however you need. So you can add like another section so that it's really long if you wanted or like another title at the top and have multiple pages. So there's lots of different options for how you can customize these and how you can create these process documents. Another super cool feature is this simplify tool. So whenever you click it, it's going to cover up pretty much everything on screen and you can always change the colors to be different, uh, to be like a light gray scale or anything like that to make it really simple. And then you can go in here and delete anything that you do want to show so that you can uh, be able to point some things out. So let's say we're talking about how to organize your accounts and we wanted to show just this section of the screen, then we could do that. And we could grab maybe a call out and uh, post this arrow. And now it's just a lot simpler to look at it this way than it would be if everything else was on screen. Now let's say that we accidentally got captured this within our screenshot and we wanted to take it out. Another really awesome feature is this cutout tool. So you have multiple different options for how you want to cut something out. This one is really cool because all you have to do is select it and you have to flatten everything and then boom, it takes it out, takes it right out. And you can do that, like say we wanted to take out just this tax savings account, we could do that too and it would take it out. So there's a lot of amazing things within this that I think you're going to love when you do get your hands on it yourself and can really dive in and start playing around with it. Before we move on to the last use case, if you're liking this video, please be sure to click like and drop a comment below letting me know. It really helps me out. Use case three, organize screenshots. The final use case is something that I have struggled with throughout the years. I am very trigger happy when it comes to taking screenshots and find myself consistently taking them on my Mac. And these end up on my desktop and they're really clunky and all over the place. Well now with Snagit, you can actually organize your screenshots by having labels on them so that you can go back and find them later. So I just imported a several different screenshots that I had on my desktop into Snagit. This way, what I can do, sometimes there's ones that I want to keep. So for example, I was sneaking around on Amy Porterfield's last launch and took some screenshots of her different pages and would like to be able to reference these at a later stage. So I can create a tag for Amy Porterfield and at any 
stage in the future, if I want to go back and kind of look at those, then I can go and do that and quickly find them without having to scrub through all of these random names that don't mean anything. And similarly, I have like different content ideas of how that I, I grabbed here or maybe even confirmation screenshots that I might wanna go back and reference later. So this is simple yet extremely effective as well. And I'm so excited to use it and wanted to share it with you as well. Okay, we covered a lot in this video, and as you can see, the sun has set since filming this video, so I am going to wrap this right here. If this was helpful, be sure to click like, drop a comment below, and be sure to grab your promo code for Snagit to get 10% off by following the link in the description below. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.